Hi, a couple of years ago, I made a video where I show how to install your safety uh, overflow switch for your AC unit, but I'm still getting a lot of questions on how to wire this into your system. So in today's video, I'm going to show you close-ups on how to wire your AC float switch. Before you're going to work on your AC unit, make sure that your fuses are off. There are two ways of connecting your safety switch to your unit. First, you connect it in between the red wire. The other one, you connect it in between the yellow wire. What is the difference? The biggest difference is that if you connect it between the red wire, when your overflow switch is full of water, it will shut off the entire unit. So the blower is not going to be working, compressor is not going to be working. If you have it connected in between the yellow wire, like a lot of people have, it happened to me and to my friend a couple of times, your compressor is going to stop working, but your blower is going to be wor still working and it's going to be blowing the water that is sitting on the bottom and it's going to be spreading it. So I have my safety switch connected to the red wire. So here's the close up. This is the red wire from the unit this is the red wire from the thermostat. Now, as you can see, those two wires come in between those two wires. Normally, this red wire and the red wire from the thermostat are connected. When there is a connection and the thermostat kicks in, your AC is working. So you need to disconnect both red wires, put your safety switch in between two ends. I hope you can see that. Okay. So what happens is if the safety switch engages, there is cut off power, your unit stops, turns off entire unit and there is no fan working. Okay. So this is basically how you need to connect it. I hope this video helps you in, uh, Connected to your AC safety switch. Thanks for watching, guys. Goodbye.